Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Trello tutorial, we are going to learn how you can use Trello for software development for the teams that are using Kanban. So in the previous tutorial, we have learned about the Scrum templates that are available. We have understood how you can use those templates and then customize those, customize the workflow and manage the flow of work for the software development teams that are using Scrum. Now Kanban, as I explained in previous tutorial as well, is more suitable for the teams that manage the work or the continuous flow of work. So say for example, you have the IT support team, right? So they continuously get the work item into the queue and those work item or the tasks need to be completed on a regular basis. And then there is a priority assigned and then there is a work in progress limit that is also attached to the work items and that's how they manage the flow of work through the Kanban, right? Now within Trello, there are Kanban templates as well. So in the same iOS team workspace, I will go ahead and click on add the board. Okay. So this is just a warning to show you that free version of Trello will only support 10 free boards in a workspace. Okay. So we are at three, which is all good. So we'll click on start with the template and let's search what all Kanban templates are available. Okay. So if you go to the engineering section of the templates, you will get Scrum and Kanban templates there. So anything with for the software development, you will see that Scrum board we have already understood, right? And we have understood about this Agile Sprint board. You can use either of these if you are doing the Scrum, if you're using Scrum framework and Kanban template, which is from the Trello engineering team, will use that Kanban template. So we'll click on that and let's import this or use this particular template, okay? This is really good template and it will really help you to churn out the work within your project very quickly and will be very effective and efficient for your teams okay so click on use template and let's say keep the name as kanban template let's choose the workspace as ios okay let's keep the cards this time and then keep the template card as well and create this particular board okay so the kanban board is here now okay so now as you can see that overall uh, the work wise the boards have the similarity so scrum and kanban boards will have the similarity but in the scrum we follow the time bound or fixed time or the sprints right so we have this uh, two weeks sort of sprint as, uh, development and then we have fixed set of requirements that we need to deliver in a specific time frame three to six months or we we have the set of requirements but in the kanban you can have sprints teams to sometimes follow uh, the sprint or the time bound sprint as well but then it is more for the suitable for the teams who are having the continuous flow of work and how they are going to manage so they'll have this backlog wherein all the work items say for example it support team they'll get all the work item here in the form of task right so say for example this is example task there will be another task that has been raised by the member within the organization so uh, say for example laptop reset okay so your work items will be coming up something like that into the backlog okay now if say for example design and research is required you keep it if it is not then you can simply go ahead and archive this particular column and you won't be able to see it right similarly you have this to do then you have doing code review after say for example you are working on the item that is there in the backlog right so say for example this task there is no design and research that is required that can directly be moved or assigned to someone to work on then will be moved to to do and assigned to a team member say for example okay once the task has been assigned that team member will start working on that particular task okay so that team member will pick the task and move it to doing as the person is working and once the person has found the solution and they have fixed it they'll provide their description here so fixed or something uh, and provide all the details right then if there is any comment or review that is required they'll provide the comment and mention someone say for example please review so say for example please review okay and save it so this person will get notified that this particular work item needs to be reviewed okay now once this particular work item has been done and needs review the person will move it to code review and assign it to the person who needs to review this so john needs to review it so what this developer will do is they will 
remove themselves and they will add this card or they will assign this card right so now john will get notified because the person has also commented john in the comment section and also the card has been assigned okay so now this person will review this particular code everything fine then that card will be moved to testing once the deployment happened then this card will say for example needs to be tested by the person rama then the card will be assigned to rama and once the testing has been done everything looks good then the card will be moved to done right so this is the flow of work that you will see into the kanban okay so this is the kanban board and this is the template that you can directly use out of the box from the trello team and start using it pretty well designed and a nice template the other important thing within this particular kanban to remember is that there is a concept of work in progress limits right so within kanban how do you manage the flow of work so you have the work in progress limit that at this particular stage or at this particular state in the workflow say for example in the code review or in the doing column there shouldn't be more than four work items so if you see here right so let me you will see set list limit right so i can set the list limit for this particular column here right so the limit was three but there were four columns and you can see the card the detail of this particular card the color has changed already if i change it to four okay save it now you will see there is no warning as appeared so within kanban it is important to manage your work effectively you need to have this work in progress limit set at the levels or at the uh, list level or at the states right so say for example in the doing uh, if you have six member team then once each member has assigned or taken up the task then they can't have the another task assigned to themselves and un until the work ha has been completed right so or until that task has been moved to other state so you can specify the work in progress limit by just clicking on the ellipses in that particular list or the column and clicking on the set list limit and specify the limit okay so this is the usual practice that you that is usually followed in the kanban boards okay so this is how you will be managing your work or managing the software development work or the it support work using the kanban board within trello so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching